The oil speciation block is found here in our Promax autokinetic reactors. And what this block allows us to do is it takes a boiling point curve, or crew to say, takes that information and converts it into composition data. So to illustrate that, I have here a naphtha hydro treater that we've set up in simulation. So the goal is to take our sulfur components and our naphtha coming in and to convert those into H2S so we can remove them from our system. And so in order to simulate this, we need to know what our naphtha is made of. We need to know all the hydrocarbons that we have and what sulfur components we're dealing with in order to know how our reactions are going to take place later in the process. So let's go ahead and take a look at our naphtha inlet stream. If I open that here on the composition section, we'll see a long list of components that we have here. And we'll see that that composition is specified within this stream. So we see our different hydrocarbons, different sulfur compounds. All of that has been specified for us by the oil speciation block. Now this is a very large list of components as mentioned. And there's a very quick way we can add all these components. So let me show you how our environment was created for this simulation. If I come up here to the Edit Environment button, there's about 300 components in this list, and so a little bit larger than maybe most of the simulations you've worked with. But if I come here to the Components tab and we see our list, I'm going to remove all these components just to show you how I'd start from scratch. And we have up here a classification section. If I open up that topic here, we'll see particular groupings that are already built for us. So in our case, we're doing some naphtha hydro treating. If I select that classification, that brings in a list of 300 components. And I can move those all over into my installed group here. And now we've already selected 300 components. Now our component list needs to include all of our inlet components, so all of our reactants and products in our system, and any other component we expect to see on this page. So the only other things I need to type in, if I come back to all components here, we know that we're going to be sending in some hydrogen into the system, we're going to have H2S as a product, and we'll also see some water in our system. Okay, so with those couple of components added, we're already back to our 303, and we've made this entire list. So at that point, you'd click OK. I'll click Cancel since my group was already created for me. And we can see that's where our list came from. And then the oil speciation block is what's going to fill in this composition. So let's go and open up that speciation block and see what's inside. The very first couple things you'll need to specify is the temperature, pressure, and flow rate of your naphtha coming in. And we'll also specify either an API gravity or the specific gravity, whichever one you have handy. And then you can see the list of different types of assays that you're able to enter into this block. And so we have a TBP or any of these other assays are, are equally useful. But that's where we're going to now enter in that boiling point information. This can be as a mass basis or a volumetric basis. And then we have the ability to enter in our initial boiling point and any additional points that we have for this boiling point curve. You might not have all the information for all these points, so the more you have the better. But as a minimum, you're going to need the initial boiling point and at least two other points. And so with the initial boiling point and two other points, you can get this block to work and then any additional information you have uh, is a bonus. So we have that specified out here. Down near the bottom, we can also specify the paraffin fraction, olefins, naphthenes, and aromatics. And these are user input numbers right now, but we do have this correlation here that could estimate those for you if you don't know the actual numbers. But we need to have those specified out. And then the very last thing here is our sulfur mass fraction. And so this is on an atomic basis. It's what percentage of your mass is the sulfur in this in this stream. Now one other ability we have here at the very top is say you're just trying to use a common crude and so you want it to fill out all this information for you based on a common crude. 
you can look through our database here of crudes and find the crude that you're looking for. So it's a pretty extensive database. Like I say, if you were just looking for a West Texas intermediate crude, you could select that and that will uh, create the boiling point curve and everything else input for you. So with all this information, Promax can now calculate out that composition for us. Let's take a deeper look now and click on this process details button. And as we get into there, first on this oil assay tab, we'll see the same information that we saw in our project viewer. So you could enter that information here as well. Now if I come to the second tab, this species overrides tab, if there's particular species where you know the exact percentage that you have of that species, say you knew some of your light ends, you could come in and type those fractions in here, and then you'd hit those exact fractions within your composition. There's also a plot that's generated here. You'll see these red points represent the TBP curve, and then the blue points represent our components and how they fit to this curve. So this illustrates how that oil speciation block is taking the TBP curve and generating a composition to match that curve. So that's how our oil speciation block works, and I hope that's really useful for you.